Wagner had invited Benjamin Netanyahu, the premier of Israel, over to address the Senate. Now, critics of that suggested that, hey, you know, not only are you undercutting the president, but you're also breaking some, breaking some rules, breaking some protocols, some etiquette, because Israel is heading into elections, uh, and actually they're having elections today. So, of course, the right wing is like, oh, of course not. What are you talking about? Israel's our best ally. Of course we, we just invite them over to just, uh, we invited Netanyahu over to address Congress about Iran. You remember his speech with the crazy-looking cartoon bomb? Yeah, that speech. And, of course, it turns out that the people who are criticizing Congress and Benjamin Netanyahu were 100% correct. You see, one of the criticisms of having Bibi come here and speak to Congress was that he was going to use it in election to, to help his election chant. And guess what he did? He took footage from that congressional speech and used it as a political ad. Unsurprising. Now, uh, the political ad is up, and I'm sure you've probably seen it on different channels, and I don't have the video right here. However, it's an 80-second campaign ad featuring his address to Congress and uh, rockets being launched in the background. Because what propaganda ad is good without rockets, right? you got to have rockets for your propaganda, of course, to show how Israel is in imminent danger from all the rest of the entire world, right? Which is pretty much what Benjamin Netanyahu is trying to point out in order to get him elected. You see, Benjamin Netanyahu is a neocon. He's a neocon, he's a right winger, so of course he likes war. <laughs> and of course he's going to use our right wingers, and our right wingers are going to use him and their right wing propaganda in order to get themselves reelected and for him to try to get himself reelected. Now, of course, um, and there was a little controversy back over in Israel, of course, the, his opponent, uh, Herzog, of the um, opposition, the left-wing party over in Israel, filed a petition to the Broadcasting Authority claiming the speech violated election propaganda rules. Fascinating. Israeli Supreme Court Justice Salim Gibran ruled, ruled that the speech would be broadcast domestically on a five-minute delay to allow editors to take out propagandistic content. So there you go. You have Benjamin Netanyahu coming over to do a speech where he claimed wouldn't be used as part of his re-election campaign, obviously being used in his re-election campaign. Now, we don't know whether or not that's going to help him or hurt him in the elections. I guess we'll tune in tomorrow. We'll have the results of that election to see whether or not it hurt his chances. But as far as we know, the polls... Uh, or, or I should say surveys taken before the election pointed that his party, the right-wing Likud party, is trailing behind the Zionist Union, which is their, the left-wing Israeli party. So we'll just have to see whether or not this helped him or hurt him, but once again, the critics were 100% correct in the fact that this all this was is propaganda in order to get Benjamin Netanyahu, or to attempt to get him, re-elected. Not only did the Republicans invite him over to undercut Obama, it also is aimed to sort of help them in their election campaigns as well. And of course, right-wingers, and it doesn't matter if it's our right-wingers or their right-wingers, always tend to stick together because their aims are similar. They both want continued war. Now recently Republicans have been getting a lot of pushback after they sent 